What's going on, you guys? Clint here. Welcome back to the channel, Code Commerce, and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. In this video, specifically, we're going to be covering the badge component with Material UI. So let's go ahead and jump in here. What I'm going to do is create a uh, new file in here. I'm going to call it badge example jsx rafce is going to generate our functional component let's just go ahead and import this in here so we'll say badge example just like that we'll close it off let's go ahead and save so it gets formatted so if you're not familiar with a badge basically it's just this little dot right there that shows for example maybe you have an email available okay um but not just an email, we can do some other cool things with it as well. If you scroll down, you can show it like on a profile image like we just did in the last video showing the avatar. Uh, what I'll put, you, put a link in the description below. So lots of pretty cool functionalities you can do with this. So we're gonna use this in this example in the context of maybe receiving an email. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this show the full source code. Now, if you haven't already installed Material UI, it's really, really easy. I'll put a link to the first video in the series so you can install uh, Material UI and restall, install React uh, Material UI icons. So for this one right here, we're just gonna copy this right here, this badge and the mail icon. I'm gonna paste it in there like so. And then I'm just gonna grab this badge and we'll just paste it in here. But what I first, what I wanna surround this with is a Material component called Box. We'll do that right there. And then inside this box, I'm gonna give it a property. We'll say margin four, just like that. So we can have a little margin, okay? So let's go ahead and npm run dev. It's gonna start your server. Mine's already running. If we go ahead and refresh, box is not defined. So that means we just need to import box from at MUI slash material. So now if we refresh, you can see that we'll get rid of the errors. So our badge content, this four, this value right here, is what you see being pulled in. So this can be a dynamic value for pulling it from a database. You can see if we change this, it's gonna to change to five. So that's pretty neat. Um, we can also change the color right now by default set into primary. If we change it to secondary, I believe it's gonna be a purplish color. Yes, there it is there. Um, if we change this to zero, okay, so let's change that to zero. The badge actually disappears because we don't have any um, any emails in this example. But what if you wanted to still show that you have zero in there in the form of the badge? What you just need to say is show zero, just to add the show zero property. And that way it'll still show the badge even if you have uh, zero. But let's go ahead and we'll change this back to we'll say 10, for example. Now we can also add what's called a max property here because if you said, say we'll have 990, for example, it's gonna, by default, stop at 99. So as you can see, if I type 990 in there, you can see it stops at 99 plus, um, even if we type 50 in there. But if you wanted to limit this to, for example, um, 10, all you have to do in here, we'll just say max, just like that and you can actually pass in the value you want to limit it at. So if you want to limit it at 25, you just hit save and you can see we're limiting it at 25. Then if we change this to 25, you can see there's no plus. If we change it to 26, there's gonna be a plus and so on and so forth. So that's how we kind of limit the max property in there. Now, if you wanted to show the badge, but not necessarily a number, like a value passed in, you can just say, variant dot just like that and what that's going to do is just show the dot and not have any type of value being passed in now we can also move the dot around what's with what's called an anchor origin so we'll just say anchor origin just like that and we believe it's just vertical and horizontal let me scroll down here this is all everything we've done so far so yeah right here we'll just pass this in here so let's copy that and we'll paste that in there, it looks like we need another quote there, or curly brackets. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. And by default, again, we're at the top right. If you wanted to add the, um, maybe say the bottom, bottom right, so we can actually change uh, the placings just like that. And this can be dynamic as well. Not sure why you'd wanna do that, but you can change the placing of the dots there. So this is a high level overview. I think that about covers everything. We went over 
Um, it's the placing. We went over the sizing. We went over how many showing here. You can change that dynamically, whether or not we're rendering the value at all. So yeah, I think that covers the badge icon here. Next up, we're gonna be going over the chip example.